Basically, I want to actually do a gaming build. Now, this is a strictly gaming build, but yes, you can use it as a workstation, but this, I'm really focused on actually making it a gaming PC. It has still got one of the best like components that are in there that money can buy. And I'll also leave a link in the description down below where you can get this at the time of this video at the cheapest price. And hopefully the price will go down even more so you can get it even cheaper. So let's start off with the case. I've chosen the Silverstone Raven range. Now, Silverstone's Raven range is the top of the range cases, but this is the RVX01 version, and I've got it in red and black. Now, I like the actual case. It's a medium sort of case, and the way that the whole case is turned around compared to the old traditional cases, I like it. I like the custom design of it. Plus, I've got easy access for a 3.5mm jack, I've got a microphone jack at the top and two USB 3.5s, um, 3.5s, two USB 3s on the top so I can get up to five gigabits per second of data transfer. I've got a power button and reset switch at the top and the LED indicator as well. What I do like about this case is the functionality that the way that this case is designed, that it can dissipate heat perfectly. Audio boost is like crystal clear sound with audio boost, a free dynamic. Uh, audio enhancer. Now, the audio enhancer is this new sort of thing that they've actually introduced their new line of motherboards and laptops and stuff like that. Also, you get the E2400, which is a kilobyte infinite port. Now, this is um, low latency, so you, you just don't get any interruptions when you're gaming, and that's what you don't really want. And it's a pleasure just to have on the motherboard. So, on the back as well, we've got USB 3.1 and USB 3.1 Gen 2. Now, obviously, Gen 1 being like when it first came out, but still faster than USB 3, which is up 5 gigabits per second. So, also, we've got on the motherboard is a little software feature that you get with the MSI motherboard, and it basically pushes your CPU and your memory a little bit more bandwidth to give it that more frames per second feel of like you're playing in the game so obviously the last bit of the, about this obviously it's a uh, steel series uh, certified so it's pretty cool awesome I've gone with a 750 watt edge antic power supply now this is gold certified so that means that it's a really good power supply so I went with a Cooler Master Neptune 120XL. Now this is just a um, total free of like any setting up with uh, this water cooling pump. It's for you people out there that just want to put, you want to have water cooling because you might want to overclock in the software. You might be good at that, but you might not be good in the hardware. Well, this is this is probably one of the best sort of like water cooling units that is by a name brand that you can get and you can feel comfortable with. So I went with the Asus Strix R9390. I can't even remember what the graphics card is. This is not an X version, but this is packed with a hell of a lot of features like the tweaking of like the software so you can overclock it on the fly through the actual interface. It also got, it's gonna be running with DirectX 12, which is really nice and new. Um, obviously it's Windows 10 ready and goes back to Windows 8, 8.1, 7 and yeah. So it'll run really well with that and basically this graphics card is a monster it's really big and it's really really powerful because it's this is how powerful this graphics card is this graphics card alone can run 4k so this is what we're rocking with but this is an AMD graphics card I went top end on the Skylake processor and went to get a 6700k which is obviously the flagship Intel's processor for this actual uh, socket and obviously being it's a quad core processor it's going to be absolutely enough for gaming and you can actually use it for video editing but obviously you don't get them extra cores which you would normally get but it still can manage everything else so that's why i went with the 6700k by intel so making sure that i didn't have any bottlenecking going on i opted for this company and this company is a known brand company called corsair now i've used this corsair memory for years and i've used their power supplies used loads of stuff but their memory is spot on, it's up like really good. So I've opted for DDR4 and it's got, I think it's eight gig uh, for two dual sticks and it's running at 2,666 megahertz. So I'm also using two solid state hard drives, 
These are the Shiba 512 gigabyte hard drives. Now this is uh, got a good read and write speeds. You can opt and go with other solid state hard drives, but I just know that Toshiba made the hard drives and solid state hard drive, mechanical hard drives for absolutely years. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and you want to keep up to date with videos like this. Hit the like button, especially if you like this video, because if you did like the video, then I know that I would make more videos like this. And if you didn't like it, dislike it, but leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. It always helps because obviously I like listening to you people out there. I want to interact with everyone out there. And always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.